Hey everybody, um, today I just wanted to share a LabVIEW tool. Um, so this is just a tool meant to help uh, kind of in troubleshooting communications with different serial devices. Um, so this is uh, similar to Visa test panels. If you ever use Visa test panels that you can access from NIMAX. Um, the goal is to create a similar interface that can kind of be um, customized to suit your own needs. Um, so if there's certain stuff that you're always needing to do, being able to just make those changes in LabVIEW is helpful. Um, you know, being able to even like build this into other applications and whatnot. Um, so yeah, just a flexible way to test serial communications. So um, essentially this allows you to select a serial device, um, specify the details of how you're connecting to it, um, and then, so that's your basic kind of serial properties, um, but also allows you to specify termination characters. So you can enable termination characters and specify, you know, what that termination character is. Um, and then over here, you've got your read, write, and query. So a write, just taking whatever, you know, data you've, you know, put here. So if you had like, you know, star IDN, you could do a write and it's just going to write the data. If I do a query, it's going to write the data and then try to read data back. And then whatever data is read back is going to be displayed here. Um, a read just tries to read data um, uh, on the, the serial device. Um, so if you have a device that's streaming data or something like that, you can just click read and it will read it. The contents of the read is displayed here. Um, I also have these exposed, so you can change, you know, if you wanted to view the data in hex, you could, or normal. Um, it does also display here the write and read byte count, so you can see how many writes each time you're writing and how much, when you're reading data back, how many bytes you've read. Um, and, yeah, you can basically just, you know, test, you know, reading, writing, etc. this way. Um, down here, um, error status, so... Um, if errors occur, this will go red and you get a description of what the error was there. Um, over here, so we have this log data but button. What this is going to do is it's going to launch IO log and tell it to start logging data. Um, flush buffer is just going to flush the serial buffer and then read, a stat read status byte for devices that support status bytes. We'll be able to read it. Um, so let's look a little bit at the code here. Um, so most of these event cases are just sending stuff on down to the visa loop. Um, like I said, if you do log, this is launching IO trace. Um, so you can start logging kind of your data. Um, yeah, everything else is basically just passing it on to the to your visa loop. Um, your visa loop is just um, conf basically reading all of the controls. So however you have everything set up, and then executing the, the case you've specified. So for a write, it's going to try to open the serial port, configure it as you've specified, and then write the data. Um, and you get certain contents written to different indicators. Um, so same thing for like a read, um, uh, for a query, you know, for a flush, we're just using this uh, visa clear. Um, and for status, we're reading the status byte and then we're um, building that into a string and then displaying that here. So, and there's a note here that this isn't supported by all devices. So not every device is gonna um, respond with that. Um, but that's basically it. Um, not super complicated, but yeah, just a way to test kind of Visa serial communications um, quickly and easily. Um, in LabVIEW in a kind of custom format that's simple to work with and to adapt and modify as you know you need to. So if you're interested in this, um, the link to the repository is available in the description of the video. You're welcome to clone this, uh, make a pull request, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Canon Controls is your gateway to mastering LabVIEW. Dive into programming for data acquisition, industrial communications, and manufacturing automation. Explore how to enhance your projects with cybersecurity best practices. Join the journey to elevate your skills and secure your systems with every episode.